Hey guys, what's going on? This is Fritz, and this is another kind of neat tutorial. And this is, I'm just going to jump right into it. So we've got some optical flares today. And um, really, I just went as basic as I could. And here we've got, like, I don't know, you could add it more to it. But it's that thing in the corner. If, I don't know, if, if you can't see it, you definitely need to see a some sort of medical help or seek some doctor or something. I don't know, but that's it. It's that big orange thing that looks like my head in the middle. And that's it. So we're just going to jump right into it. So we are going to start off, just have a black solid on top. Um, you need optical flares from Video Copilot. Uh, just select it, drag it onto that black solid, set the render mode to on transparent, and then hit options up at the top. And then we've got this beautiful looking thing. And I'm going to show you how to make a flare. And also there, there are presets, and I use these most of the time. Like we've got that one's cool uh, to, put, to put up in the corner. Um, that one's cool again that I like that one on snipers or you can make like really clean ones like, um, like That one that one's pretty clean whole bunch of them So we're just gonna jump into it and make a really really quick one just Getting rid of all these objects So if we click over here on lens objects, we can see we have a whole bunch of options here So always start with a little bit of glow uh, maybe a spike ball and some sparkle uh, we could add a ring. Yeah, we don't want a ring. I mean, really, it's all just honest, like, preference, I guess. I mean, there's nothing really, um, like, too special to do here. It's just how, how, you know, how you like your flares to look, I guess. Like, there's seeds right there, so that's how it'll look. Um, we can add this little classic, like, little thing here. And you can see if it moves, it kind of stays all connected. So, that's kind of cool right there with the circle behind it. Or we can move it around like that. And now, let's say we want to add it on to our uh, map. I'm not going to use this thing or that thing. Just have that, that flare up there all alone. Just we'll hit OK up at the top. There it is. Uh, one trick I use, instead of changing the colors, where you can do it this way, um, and it works. But I also I could use the effect hue. But for now, we'll just use this effect. And we will put a nice like orangish shade. Or at least I'm trying to find one. Uh, right about there. Works. And we're just gonna throw her up in the corner, not the whole thing, just the flare. And we'll make it a little bit brighter. And there you go. So that's kind of a cool little flare up in the corner. That one's neat, looks like a flower. Uh, you can keyframe the rotation, so just hit keyframe rotation offset and then move it up. And then that way it makes keyframes and you can have your flare move. Also, you could add a little bit of flicker, so we'll hit the arrow beside flicker. Um, for the speed, I don't know what's a good speed. We'll just try like I don't know 60 in the amount 20 I don't know or 30. I don't really know good good flicker settings for flares It's different than traditional flicker. So that's it really mess with it optical flares is a must-have for editors It's a great effect. Hope you guys enjoyed leave your comments down below Tell me what you want to see as these tutorials because if I don't have any ideas I'm not gonna make them so leave a comment down below of a Tutorial that you would like to see of an effect or transition or anything editing related. I'm Fritz. I'm out subscribe like the video. See you. Bye